So I was sitting here, chilling out, and I saw all this GameStop news. Twitter going crazy, and I decided to get in. So, oh, my food's just arrived, so we'll continue this conversation in a moment. Hello, how are you? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, please. Just here. Here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shishi. Yeah. Thank Shishi. you very much. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. So, going back to what I was saying, I was sitting here chilling, and I saw all the GameStop, all the GameStop stuff, and. I've never said this before, but I actually made a couple million dollars in the last GameStop squeeze. This was a couple of years ago. And there's not really much substance in this run. It's not really an investment. There's no skill or technique. It is purely just hype. It is a fucking meme stock. This is not something that I would do on a daily basis, but because I felt the nostalgia of, you know, making the money back in the day, I thought that I would participate. And I thought that this guy, because the Roaring Kitty, he came back onto Twitter and he, you know, that that's the reason why it rallied. So the last few hours, um, I actually ended up buying some and I bought, I'll show you. I've bought 700,000 US dollars worth of GameStop at an average price of 29.61 and it's currently 27.9. So I'm down 38 thousand it's obviously changing very dramatically because it is very volatile this is not a very smart investment this is not investing in any capacity this is not trading this is purely all speculation and much closer to gambling than anything else but when there is big moments like this and if you get in at the right time i was obviously very late i've invested you know when it was already up 60 plus percent not the best time to get in but Knowing GameStop from a few years ago, it rallied a lot more than this. And if the hype continues, then it could keep going. So the trend is your friend. And that's why I decided to get in. Now, I could get totally wrecked. I'm more than happy if that happens. I like my chances here. But of course, I'm willing to lose a couple hundred grand because I have the capital to risk. Don't risk capital on moments like this unless you can afford to. Because if you get wrecked, then it's never pleasant. I've actually been down the whole time. So this is the first time I'm seeing it actually move. Again, nothing I really care about. Um, I just wanted to get in purely for the nostalgia, nothing more. And yeah, it was at, at a certain point, it should have rallied higher, but it got halted, right? So they halted it couldn't buy it, sell it anymore. And they kept doing this over and over. I think they halted it five times. Because of this, I think it killed a lot of the momentum. So as I saw it keep fluctuating up and down, up and down, up and down, I was up at a certain point, 50,000. Then at a certain point, I was down 50,000. And you know, I wanted to just see it do one big move and it didn't. Now it may tomorrow, it may not. It may later today, it may not. But either way, it's too late for me to be having this sort of adrenaline, um, putting $700,000 into a stock so volatile that, you know, can literally shoot up 100% in an hour, which happened already a few years ago. This is not an investment. Do not follow me. Do not copy me. Do not invest in GameStop because it is garbage. But I wanted to for the nostalgia. It was more for entertainment. And, you know, I've noticed that's what people nowadays look at stocks and trading and crypto as it's honestly like entertainment it's replaced movies and tv shows and it is it is a form of entertainment now so yeah anyway i got my dinner now so i'm gonna dig into this spaghetti bolognese i don't eat very healthy while i'm in china just because i try to play it safe and not get sick and when i eat very healthy here i notice that um you know raw vegetables and things like that is where i tend to not feel good afterwards. So yeah. Anyway, see you next time.